Hey everyone, Mr. Sujano here. In today's video, we're going over the best app to help you out with zip files. Let's get started. Alright, to kick things off, nowadays it's not uncommon to have files in an archived format on your phone, whether it's zip or rar or even 7-zip. When you download these files, sometimes applications cannot use them unless they've been unzipped, and sometimes you can't read them unless they've been unzipped. On the Google Play Store, there are a ton of different apps out there that will let you zip and unzip files in different formats. Some are free, some are paid. And then the question is, which one to choose? Fortunately, I've got you covered. The app I recommend is called Z Archiver, or Z Archiver, depending on how you pronounce it. This app is 100% free and does not have ads. There is a paid version of this, but in this video, I'm just going over the free one. I have tested out a bunch of different Archiver apps, and so far, none of them are as easy to use or work as well as Z Archiver. So go on ahead, click the install button, and you should be good to go. It's a pretty easy and straightforward app to use, but if you want to see it in action, I'll show you now. When you first open up Z Archiver, make sure you allow it access to your storage. Once you've done that, you should see something very similar to this. This is the main file system on your phone. If you want to access a certain file, just go on ahead and click it. If you want to perform a certain action, click and hold. This is the menu that pops up when you click and hold an item. From here, you can do a number of things. You can compress entire folders, you can compress individual items, and you can compress multiple items into one archive. There's one item in this menu that I like quite a bit, and that's the information item. From here, you can actually see how big a file is on your phone. For example, my download folder is 3.4 gigs. My documents folder is 646 megabytes. When I need to free up space on my phone, this app does come in handy. So what I'm going to show you next is how to move files around, how to extract files, and how to zip files. For this specific example, I have two different files in two different formats. One's in a zip format and one is in a 7-zip format. These are both games and I do need them extracted. What I want to do here as well is put them in their own specific games folder, and I'm going to do that first. They're sitting in the documents folder, but I do have to create a new folder called games. And to create a new folder, I can do it in one of two ways. The first way is just to press the plus sign on the bottom there, or the second way is to go into the hamburger menu and choose create. Going into the hamburger menu and here are my options, multi-select, sort by, create, settings, about, and exit. Well, I want to create a new folder, so I'm going to select create. From here, I select new folder, and then I'm going to call that folder games. So I just have to erase the text in there, type in games, and I'm good to go. Then you'll see the brand new folder sitting right there. For the next step, I'm going to move both of these files into the games folder, and to do this, I have two different methods. One, I can move each individual file, or two, I can group them together and move them both. To group files together, you click the icon and not the text. So you click the icon once and it should highlight everything green, and then you click the second file you want to move and it should click it green as well. Once I've highlighted these files, I click and hold on the text part of the file and it will bring up a menu. From here, I want to select cut. You'll know you've done everything correctly up to this point if you see the clipboard icon. From here, I'm going to place them in the games folder, so I just have to click that games folder. Once I'm here, I can either click the clipboard icon on the top or the clipboard icon on the bottom. Both of those will paste the files in this folder. To extract a zip file, all you have to do is click on the zip file and it'll bring up some options. My options here are as follows. If I select view, it'll open up the archive but not extract anything. This is helpful if the archive has maybe a bunch of different files and you only really need one or two. You can extract those instead of the entire archive. But if you want to extract the entire archive like I do, I have two different options. I can either select extract here or extract two and then archive name. If I select extract two in archive name, that'll put everything in its own specific folder. If I just select extract here, it'll just dump everything where it currently is, which is not what I want to do. I want this neat and tidy in its own folder. So I'm going to select Extract to Archive Name. The length of time it takes to extract a file will vary based on a number of factors, mainly how big the archive is and how many files are in it. If it's a small archive with just a few files, it doesn't take very long at all. I've gone ahead and extracted both archives and now I have two different folders. One is nicely named and the other one is a bit of a mess, so I want to clean this up. To do this, just click and hold it. From this menu, I'm going to select Rename. And from here, I can change the name of the folder to something a little bit easier to read. From here, I'm pretty much good to go. The file's extracted and everything is done. I'll show you now how to create a file archive. To do this is also pretty simple and straightforward. First up, select the files that you want in the archive, and you do this by selecting the icon and not the text. It'll highlight the files in green. Once you've highlighted everything you want in that zip file, click the 
the down arrow button on the bottom right hand corner of the screen and that'll bring up a menu. From here there's a bunch of different options. You can change the archive name, you can change the archive format, the compression level, the encryption, you can assign a password if you want. You can also delete the source files after you've zipped them. For your archive formats, here are your options and I normally only recommend selecting 7z or zip. If you're looking for maximum compatibility, select zip. For the compression level, if you're trying to compress these as much as possible, go on ahead and select ultra. It might take quite a bit of time. For most people though, just select normal. From here, I'm not going to password protect my archive or anything like that. I'm just going to click OK and create it. The time it takes to create an archive will vary based on a number of different factors. Generally, I find it takes a little longer to create one than to extract one. So just be patient here and eventually it will finish. When it finishes, you'll see your archived file and you're pretty much good to go. For those of you that want a few more options, there's a paid version of this app called Z Archiver Donate and it's $2.50. And that'll get you a light and a dark theme, password storage, image preview in an archive, and you can edit the files in an archive. Honestly though, I think most people will be absolutely fine with the free version of this app and there are no ads in it either. That's a huge bonus. But anyways, that is all I've got for today. Let me know your thoughts on Z Archiver in the comments below. If you use a different app, let me know in the comments below. If you like this video, leave a like. If you didn't like this video, leave a like. Hit that subscribe button, check out my other videos. Thank you everyone, take care.